just getting to make this movie, which is such a rare movie to be made at this scale with this level of support from a studio like Universal, that was really the reward, honestly. Um, this is, I don't even know, this is like a dream. I could have never imagined that we would premiere here or be invited to premiere here. The minute we decided to do it, to cast it with an entirely LGBTQ audience, I mean, LGBTQ cast, I knew that uh, it would be the right thing for the movie, but it also would result in a cast you've never seen before and performers you've never seen before and that that would be really fun for, for the audience. Nick, you know, came to me and said that him and Billy wanted to do a romantic comedy and I just thought it was a fantastic idea and they just worked so hard for a long time to have it really be hilarious and romantic and special and I'm just so glad that people are responding in such a giant way. I've been doing this 31 years and never in my life did I think that it would come to this. I mean, yeah, there's gay characters here and there, but the whole fact that the whole cast and I think 90% of the crew or, or higher than that is LGBTQ. And we all deserve to be seen and heard. I'm so excited to be here because this movie is most definitely progressively moving our community forward. It's like letting everybody in the world know that we are and always will be here. Getting to work with Nick Stoller, who's like one of the best directors of romantic comedies that we have, and having him take on a queer story and really be ready to listen and learn from Billy and the rest of the cast was so amazing. I think we need to remind the world that romantic comedies are huge and important and we love them and we want them to make money and we want to see them back in the theaters because that's important and it's important to cry and laugh in the theater and uh, you know it's interesting I think often comedies have been relegated to streaming platforms because we somehow decided that it's okay to watch people fall in love in your bed on a laptop but it's not okay to watch people fall in love in a big movie theater amongst a lot of people so I am here to celebrate unifyingly with a group of people in a movie theater falling in love with people. Rom-coms, coming of age, these are types of movies that will never die out because we'll always fall in love and we'll always come of age. So I think that to add a whole new, uh, uh, not take on rom-com, but take a traditional rom-com and infuse it with such a, an inclusive, diverse, new community, not new community, but a community at this vein to have a major motion picture about them, is, you know, elevates it to a whole other level. It's amazing. This is like my, this is my first time at TIFF and really my first time at like a big film festival like this. So I, I'm very, it's like a whirlwind, but I, I love it.